Hi, I'm Raj, and if you haven't been to my channel, it's great to see you here. When you talk about creating videos, you can do it through several means. You can use tools like DaVinci Resolve, or you can use tools like Remotion, where you convert your React and TypeScript code into video. Especially in the realm of AI-based video generation, the second method becomes super important, where we build templates and use AI to fill the content for those templates. Just to give you an example, recently I saw a content from Cody where he's built an AI-based content generator for scary stories and I thought it was impressive. Apps like these use a video generator framework underneath like FFmpeg or Remotion. And we make AI generate content like script and images and use them to create simple videos. That being said, in this content we're going to compare the top three TypeScript-based video generation tools in the market and see how they fare against each other. The three tools that we're going to talk about are Remotion, Motion Canvas, and Revideo. I must say that Revideo is just a fork of Motion Canvas, but it's got a different trajectory, which we will talk about later. In order to properly review these tools, I've built a sample app on Motion Canvas and also built the same on Remotion to see how they fare against each other. You can see that both the apps look really similar and both have a background and a few animating circles and an audio in place with a nice caption component. And you can find the link to the code base in the description. All right, first let's talk about API and approach. Remotion is a framework built on React. So it's just a plain React app. And you just render and run the React app for a certain period of time on your DOM, and you can turn that into a video. So if you look at the code base, you can see that the API is declarative, and it's based on keyframes. So what you essentially do is you render a certain number of frames per second that's going to be your FPS, and set a length to your content based on the total frames. That means if you set your FPS to be 30, for a 30 second content, you will render 900 frames. With regards to the APIs, you gotta learn a few components like absolute fill, composition, and interpolate, etc. I personally feel that Remotion is a very mature framework and offer a lot of things that you need as part of the framework itself. But I also find the documentation to be slightly overwhelming. And in order to master Remotion, you have to be good with React, and also you have to be good at working with animations in React if you want to work with some complex animations. Motion Canvas, on the other hand, is an imperative framework that is built on top of Canvas APIs, function generators, and TypeScript. Unlike Remotion, Motion Canvas gives you APIs and components to render things on a canvas. The author of Remotion has a quick comparison article where he talks about doing the same thing in Remotion and Motion Canvas and it's a really good read. For a simple animation that has a red circle turning into an orange one, then jumping to the right using a spring animation, this is the code base on Remotion, and this is the code base on Motion Canvas. You can see that Remotion is doing everything by means of updating frames using React APIs, but Motion Canvas, on the other hand, draws a circle on the view or the canvas and imperatively applies animations on the drawn circle. I like both the APIs, but somehow it feels like Motion Canvas does exactly what I want instead of beating around the bush. And it also feels a bit more natural with regards to how you create video content. Rev Video is just a fork on Motion Canvas with some small APIs on top. With regards to the normal code base, it's gonna look exactly the same. When you build your video through code, you need to render them somehow. And Remotion uses DOM to render your videos like you would render any HTML tag. But Motion Canvas renders your video on a canvas tag. But in the end, when you export your videos, both would look pretty much the same. That being said, there are pros and cons to rendering on DOM and Canvas respectively. When you render something on DOM using React, you typically only can do what React allows you to do. You have access to CSS animations, SVGs and fonts, etc. But when you render something on a canvas, it enables you to use all the Canvas APIs and you can simply draw on the canvas without messing around with HTML elements. But not all things look great on Canvas and not all things look great on a DOM. For example, 
complex animations are rendered pretty smooth on a canvas as it's GPU accelerated, but text rendering is pretty bad on canvas. On the contrary, for simple animations and text-heavy content, DOM rendering is a great choice. Just because Remotion renders on DOM, it doesn't mean that you can't use Canvas Tag. They also offer support for a lot of packages that you can use with React. For example, if you want to use Canvas, then you can use it through this Remotion 3 package. And not only that, you also have support for a lot of other libraries like Lottie. Both Motion Canvas and Remotion offer a browser-based editor that enables you to run render and export your video. I like Motion Canvas's editor a bit more because it feels a bit more feature rich. When you render and export your videos, you need to do it either on browser or a server that runs this process of rendering and exporting. Remotion offers wide variety of rendering and exporting starting from your browser and all the way to rendering and exporting your videos on the cloud. But Motion Canvas in this regard has a very different approach where they want users to use the app as a standalone tool and click render on their browser tool to render the video, which may not work for a lot of people if they're rendering on cloud service. This is also another problem that RevVideo solves. If you go to the RevVideo's rendering documentation, there you can see that they have two types of rendering, one through a function call that you can call to render your videos and export it to a file, and another through browser-based editor. That means you can render both on a server and also in a browser. This is the reason why I said in the beginning that Revideo, although it's forked from Motion Canvas, has a different trajectory. If support for rendering and exporting is a huge deal for you, I think Revideo or Remotion would be a better choice. If you talk about the learning curve and the documentation, Remotion would be easier for people with React knowledge to get started quickly. And its documentation is super rich. Although it might look a bit intimidating at first glance, it helps you get started quickly with building your video generators because they have a lot of templates that you can get inspiration from. Motion Canvas uses function generators pretty heavily. So you would first have to get used to writing function generators before you jump into the framework. The imperative nature of Motion Canvas, at least for me, slightly aligns with how I think about creating videos. I think both have similar learning curves, but if you like writing React, then you would like Remotion. Revideo is just Motion Canvas, so most of the APIs stay the same, apart from some APIs that are used for rendering on the server. And that's pretty much it. Please let me know what you think about these tools in the comments. And thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.